Hello, Lori. Hi, Carol. I wanted to um, say that it's been so nice to gather again as friends and also for the time uh, that we have spent throughout our, our career together since the, the 1980s that we find ourselves here in Philadelphia and you're opening at the uh, uh, Philadelphia Museum of Jewish Art uh, last night. Uh, what was this all about? Well, this is sort of the culmination of, of work having to do with um, interpretation of uh, texts from the Old Testaments and Old Testament, and pray, you know, making visual the prayers that we read that we think about. And um, these are texts that have been very meaningful to me over the years. I incorporate them both in form and in um, the calligraphy that I use on these pieces. The lead piece in this um, exhibit is called Ne'ila, and this is because the opening last night was right at the threshold of the uh, Jewish High Holy Days, the Days of All, and Ne'ila refers to the closing uh, prayers, the closing service on Yom Kippur, where the gates of prayer are closing after you've had a chance to reflect for the 10 days of the days of all on what has transpired in the past and where you're going in the future. Uh, Ne'ila, the piece is in the form of two panels which form a gate to prayer and the text on it is from different portions of the Ne'ila service. And um, so I wanted, to, I created this piece particularly for this exhibit because of the time that this is taking place. Uh, and Lori, um where is this going? To, where is this leading you to, though? Right now, the direction of my work has been in a lot of interfaith work, actually. So not only have I done projects um, for Jewish places of worship, but um, several um, large projects um, for Fourth Presbyterian Church, Madison Avenue Presbyterian Church, and Catholic Theological Union. And these were all interfaith projects where I used Hebrew and English texts as um, sort of aids to prayer. In pieces um, right now my direction is to move on to um, Jewish Muslim dialogue, Jewish Muslim Christian dialogue and to incorporate Hebrew and Arabic texts in my work and um, to use sound with them to show the similarities between Hebrew and Arabic uh, which seems important to me in the context, global context of our world today show the similarities and not the things that divide us. Well, thank you, Lori. And I uh, hope that we'll gather again to find out more about what your future is happening for you. Thank you very much.